This all started about 3.30 this afternoon when somebody ran in, opened fire, dressed in some kind of a mask and body armor with an assault rifle. People began running madly from the building, but others just had to find a place to hide. Police now telling us that that shooter has been neutralized. Abby Gibb is standing by with someone who was also inside when this happened. Abby? Hi, Tracy. I was talking to this young gentleman here, Mario, who was actually downstairs when it happened. Just to clarify, the shooting did happen upstairs. As far as I've been told, yeah. And we've been talking about this, that people are slowly able to trickle out. You just got out of this building. Tell me where you were exactly when you first heard those shots. I was at my kiosk. I worked downstairs at the Nick station, the electronic cigarette kiosk, and I was just waiting for, you know, people to come by. And all of a sudden we heard gunshots. We heard multiple, a couple in a row, and then we heard more, which, you know, triggered everyone, you know, that's gunshots get out of the way, which only makes sense. And we started going off the opposite direction and we uh we were all ushered into a uh, store to, for safety. People were saying, get in the store, it's safer. And we stayed there. And then that's where we waited. We were hearing phone calls, getting phone calls left and right. Uh, that's when finally we saw SWAT come in. They told us to stay in until further notice because they're still searching for the other people. Eventually, they got to us, and they had a bunch of guards all around us. We were surrounded by SWAT, and they ushered the whole group out at once. And like, women and children first, the whole standard procedure, safety. And so so let's, let's go back a little bit. So you're inside this store. It's locked down. You're seeing SWAT go by you. At what at what point do you start to get a little scared and freak out at all? It doesn't do any good to freak out. Like, it's not going to help any. There's already people freaking out. One more is just going to add to more to the chaos. It's, it's pointless. So you were able to stay calm through that whole process? Yeah. There's quite a few people actually stay calm. There's a few of us. There's a couple of people, like, you know, scared in the corners, kind of waiting for a man. But for the most part, we stayed calm because we knew we were locked in. We locked the glass doors, the big old doors, and SWAT was on their way. So we just waited for, our, for their notice. How does it feel, though, to be inside the store, know there's an active shooter, and to see SWAT still walking by you? Uh, we were... It was a little weird. It was a little scary. I'm not going to lie to you, but you know what? I trust they do their job well, and they're doing their job, and I think they handled it well enough. And again, freaking out. It's not going to help anyone. Stay calm. Try to help everyone, you know, stay orderly. And Mario, how long did you stay inside that store? It's about 40 minutes-ish, 30, 40 minutes. There was a lot of, first, this, before the SWAT even got there, we were there before that happened. Like, there was just a lot of, like, people. We saw a couple of people walking by, and then we all just we ducked back into the corner and said, hoping it wasn't that person. I feel sorry for the people who didn't get into a store, because they were just walking about, so I must admit they were really scared, too. Understandably. And, and last question, you're doing a great job. Tell me again uh, what it was like and, and what exactly happened as SWAT escorted you out. Uh, when they escorted us out, they had multiple people, like, covering multiple viewpoints, and they're standing out, like, okay, follow, get in a tight group for women and children first, right, stay tight, stay low, and they had multiple people, like, in front of us, on the side of us, and then right next to us with guns at the ready, ready to go, if anything, should up arise, and they were say, stay low, and uh, when we first got out, there's a guy walking around outside, just walking back and forth, and it scared a lot of people, everyone just stopped, right, and so what happened was, uh, Dick, one of those guys, SWAT guys, came out and like put him against the wall and searched him just in case. He wasn't one of them, but it scared him because there was this guy just walking outside right in front of the door. So, but then he joined the group, and then they let us out. They said, stay low, stay quick, be quick, and you know, women and children first. So. Mario, thank you so much for sharing your story, and I'm glad to know you're okay. Yeah. So these are the stories, Tracy, that we're hearing all afternoon long. And again, just to reiterate, there are a lot of people. Again, we, we don't know how many, but but a number of people that are still inside this mall here this evening that lock themselves in many of these stores um, for their own safety and are slowly waiting for the SWAT teams to be able to escort them out, just like Mario had that experience just a few minutes ago. I also want to tell you um, that, as you can see, we're right outside the Macy's right now. I I did see another SWAT vehicle come by within the last 15 minutes or so um, and with guns drawn and at the ready racing back over towards that Macy's entrance. So I think they're making an active effort right now to be able to help more and more people um, get out of this safely. But still very scary and a lot of people still very shooken up out here as they're starting to trickle their way out from this mall. Back to you. Well, and Abby, they, you know, they're, most people seem to be handling it pretty well, but you know there's going to be, be repercussions in the days ahead. You know, there's got definitely going to be some trauma involved in this. It's not just the people that were injured physically, but this would just scare the daylights out of you. Oh, no, no kidding. And there's no question about that. There, There is going to be a need for some aftercare. Absolutely. For the people who saw this and were so close to those who were injured and running for their lives themselves.